Hi guys, this is your girl Justina Elise, and today we're gonna do a wash and go. We're not gonna do your usual wash and goes. We're gonna do a mousse wash and go, and we're gonna use the Lottie Body Original OG Blue Mousse. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. <laughs> So if you made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Click the red button and the bell next to it so you can be notified of my next video. So y'all might be wondering, why am I doing a voiceover while I'm not talking? My sound on this video like was so bad. So it was really staticky. So I just decided to do a voiceover. So sometimes you might see me talking and I'm not really talking, I'm just doing the voiceover. So let's just get into the video. So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. I'm using my cream of nature leave-in to lightly detangle my hair. My hair was already detangled in the shower, but I'm just going in lightly and moisturizing it with the leave-in spray. I really, really like this leave-in spray, which I'm surprised compared to how it was when I originally um, had the product, but I really, really like it now. Now I'm about to go in with the Lottie Body Mousse. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take about three pumps for this section. And you see, it's the usual like foaminess that we usually have when we do our flexi rods, but I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my hair as if I'm doing a wash and go basically breaking it through, making sure every curl, even the roots, have some mousse on it, and just smoothing it throughout my hair, seeing how my curls come through, baby. Um, so that's basically what I'm going to do, and I'm going to go ahead and, as well, finger coil, which is like one of my favorite things to do when I do wash and goes. It's just to go ahead and do the finger coiling so you can see my individual curls and how they curl through. So I really did like this mousse. It was a, um, very good at, you know, keeping my hair detangled. As I applied the mousse, it was really easy to comb my fingers through as, um, you know, I applied it to my hair. Um, it wasn't too sticky or anything like that. And it left my hair presumably pretty curly little uh, frizz as I applied my hair but um, as y'all see at the end my hair did end up like frizzing up I feel like if I'm uh, if I would have added a gel it would have been a little bit better but essentially it did a pretty good job of you know keep, keeping my hair you know a little bit curly um, I'm currently on I think this is like the third day or the second day I don't remember but of this hairstyle and my roots are pretty puffy but um the ends of my hair because I did shingle um they are curly so that's kind of the advantage to doing my hair in a finger coil shingling method that even though my hair did puff up you know the ends of my hair are still curly are still pretty moisturized um even i can even like separate my curls and they still look good um it does it's like more of a like an afro-ish texture than a more like sleek texture that you would get when you did a gel wash and go so this is how the back of my hair looks and now i'm finishing off this front section of my hair and as you see my the length of my hair is pretty curly but do you, you do see like a little like halo a frizz on this side that i have completed so that's what i'm talking about when i said that there was like a little frizz and y'all can see it just a little halo of frizz and then here is the other half of my hair i'm almost finished 
only have to do the front section to finish off this section of my hair but again as y'all can see there is like a little halo of frizz that is present and as I said before if I had just used a gel I feel like it would have done better I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off shingling this first section of my hair. Just going in, I just basically combed the mousse out, um, you know, raked it through my hair, making sure all my curls got all the mousse it needed, and then go ahead and finger coil slash shingle each, each individual curl. So I am pretty much done. Now, it's a lot of foam in this section, but um, in the end result, my hair doesn't frizz, so don't worry about how much um, mousse is in this section. Um, I did decide to go through um, on the section I did first and make sure the ones that were kind of frizzy, like add a little bit more mousse. But this is how my hair looks after I have applied all the mousse. This side is wet and the other side is still dry. So well, this is how my curls essentially look. They're pretty springy. Um, they, as y'all see, one side is still wet, but I'm gonna let it air dry for about an hour. Um, I just sat and watched TV for an hour. I let it air dry, and then I'm gonna go back and diffuse my hair and use my blow dryer. So this is the clip of me diffusing my hair. As y'all can see. The left side of my head is still, you can still see a little bit of mousse, but pretty much all the mousse, 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 can I talk, mousse has, has absorbed and I'm just going in and diffusing my hair. As y'all can see, the curls at the ends of my hair are really, really curly, but my roots are puffy, so... So after I diffuse my hair, I am going to go in and take the diffuser attachment off and go ahead and blow dry my hair throughout just to make sure that the roots of my hair are dry. Um, I don't have any wet spots because I am about to go to bed like it's 8 o'clock at night. So I am about to go to bed. And then this is another way I can kind of like use my fingers to pull up my roots to help stretch my hair so this is just one way i didn't want to stretch it that much because it is like a softer textured mousse wash and go so i don't want to stretch it that much because i felt like it was going to frizz much and my hair was going to grow throughout the week so i just did not stretch it which it did grow throughout the week so this is essentially how my hair looks as y'all can see the little halo frizz is there, definitely. Um, but the curls are at the end. So if this is the type of hairstyle y'all are interested in, this mousse is pretty moisturizing, doesn't dry out your hair at all. And yeah, if y'all don't mind frizz, this is a good wash and go. So if you made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed, Make sure you subscribe, click the red button and the bell next to it so you can be notified of my next video. And remember, guys, you look blessed. Bye, guys.